I'm Melissa Sardelli here with your online nightly newscast for Monday, March 22nd. These are our top stories posted on WPRI.com tonight. The latest developments on the Rehoboth mother accused of beating her two-year-old son to death. Today, Kim Pino pleaded not guilty to murder in Taunton District Court. A judge ordered Pino to undergo a mental health evaluation and turned down a request for her to attend her son's funeral. Timothy died Friday. His half-sister says she's seen Pino assault the baby's father before. I've seen her kick him and swing her arm across his face, so she's a very abusive woman. Pino's lawyer says his client has mental health issues. Her case has been continued until April 12th. The city of Providence has reached a tentative contract agreement with its firefighters union. Providence firefighters have been working without a contract since 2001. The deal announced today includes two years of retroactive pay raises along with wage freezes for this year and next. It also requires firefighters to pay part of their health insurance for the first time. The deal must still be approved by the rank and file of the fire department. Developing news tonight in an attempted abduction investigation. Fall River police have released this composite sketch of a man wanted for trying to force a 66-year-old woman into his car on Sunday. Investigators say the woman fought off the attacker by bashing him repeatedly in the face with a rock. The suspect is described as a thin Hispanic man in his 30s, standing about 5 feet 9 inches. He should also have facial wounds. Police are offering a cash reward for information leading to a positive identity. And the family of a man who was found dead in Providence last week is dramatically upping the reward money for information about his death. The victim, 23-year-old Gregory Hart, was laid to rest today in Norwood, Massachusetts. His body was discovered in the Winoskatucket River in Providence last Tuesday, several days after his family reported him missing. An autopsy determined that Hart drowned, but his family disputes those findings, and police are still investigating his death as suspicious. Meantime, Hart's grandfather contacted Eyewitness News today and told us that the family is now offering $70,000 to anyone with information about what happened. And be sure to stay right here on WPRI.com for all your latest news.